Today, we're gonna be testing the most difficult MLG plays in Minecraft to see how hard they really are. Like the water bucket MLG. Look at my boy falling down to death. You know he's about to die. And bang, gets the water bucket clutch just like this. Hey, we did it. Yo, that's the first try. Let's go, baby. So I'm gonna test every single MLG play a chess full of times, which means 27 times per play. We're gonna tally up the success rate and see how hard the MLG plays really are. All right, now we're gonna try it with a little bit of snow, a little bit of visibility impact. See what we got here and... Okay, that's... All right, let's see if we get it. Here we go, baby. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, baby, we're on fire right now. Ah. Oh. I've only missed three times out of almost 18. What the heck, dude? Oh! Dang it, two in a row! Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh no, I didn't even drop that and I actually didn't even fall. Oh, and it messed me up! Oh, we died on the last one. That sucks. Wow, that's not bad, guys. We had a 75%, almost 76% success rate using the water bucket MLG. This is a pretty legit play. This is the play right here, guys. The dream lava boat jump play. This is, I've tried this before. It's literally like the hardest play I've ever seen in my life. We're gonna try it and we're gonna see how we do. It's gonna be really brutal, but hey, we'll see what we can do, all right? Guys, for this next one, we're gonna do the lava boat MLG. We gotta go from this red block to that green block. And I don't even know if I'm gonna get this one once. So let's try it. Oh, we did it! Oh, I, I, I mean, we technically did it, right? So that's one success. Can we do it back? Okay, that's not bad. All right, 2-0 oh on this one. It's not too bad. We're going to actually make it a little bit farther, and uh, let's see how we do. All right, round two. Here we go. Oh, baby. This, I'm actually doing kind of good at this. I'll be honest with you. You just got to time it just perfectly. Um, That's not bad either. That's another double, man. We're getting all right here. All right, hey, let's go. Oh my gosh, I am shocking the world. Oh, okay, never mind. I, I, I died. Hey, man, you can't win them all. Oh no, I forgot. I, I missed it. I, I don't know what I did. I didn't scroll my wheel or something. All right, we're going to challenge ourselves and see if we can go the last like eight trips without a single death. Here we go. I'm going to push through it. Go. One, two, one. Oh! Last attempt. Let's get that score up. We had an 83% success rate with the lava boat versus 75 with the water bucket. And again, I'm not like a great player or anything. I don't think that's pretty telling, guys. Guys, we're coming up next with an absolute classic, the Ender Pearl MLG play. Take a look at what we're supposed to do here. Shot up into the air and the MLG play involves throwing it back before you fall off the edge. So we're going to like make our own version of that. It's pretty ridiculous. All right. So for this ender pearl trick, here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump off the cliff. We're going to go. I'm going to show you guys a little example. We're going to fall down and then we must land in the green spot before we hit the ground at the bottom. If we can't land in the green, it doesn't count because you got to be accurate for a play like this. So I got to fall down. I got to hit it in the green or it's a zero. All right. That's a, that's a zero. I don't feel too confident about my ender pearl skills. Like all right, I'm learning. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm gonna give it to me. I didn't I didn't hit the green, but I hit the white, and I'll take I'll take it. Alright, that's close enough. Okay. If we can't land in the green, it doesn't count because you gotta be accurate for a play like this. One more. All right, this is our worst success rate so far at 70%. And the, the worst part is it looks easy. This looks so easy. I'm sure you're watching and you're like, Waterfall. that's literally so easy. If it's so easy, you try it. All right, guys, it's starting to get real. We did the water bucket MLG. Now we're going to give a quick shot to the spider web MLG. This is, wow, that's a beautiful shader pack. This is what it looks like in a perfect world. And that's it. It just sticks and you go. Here we go. MLG spider web play number one. And I just don't feel great about it for some reason. I guess I got it. Okay, one for one. I will. I feel like I should be able to get 100% success right on one of these. But this one scares me. Like the giant open area under me. I mean, it just doesn't feel good. Oh, God. Maybe I'm just better at the game than I thought. I mean, look at this. A 360 one. Okay, no, I'm not. I even placed it and I still died. I mean, about to pop off. Going perfect the rest of the way right here. If I do what you got to subscribe. All right, well, hey, you don't gotta subscribe. Just like fall and place and place. 
One more, baby. One more, baby. I need to get this one. I must get it. No! 74? Is that what we had on the first? Wait, is that the same percentage as the water bucket? If so, I'm pretty dang consistent with these MLG plays, which means it might not be harder or easier using water or it doesn't matter what you use, which is weird because the water felt a lot better than this. I don't know why. We're approaching one that I feel like I have zero skill or right to do. Like many of us, this is the latter MLG. Yeah, oh wow. Do you see this? Do you see what he just did? I'm, are you kidding me? I'm about to get it in my first like 10 percent or here. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. So there's literally one block and you got to place a ladder on it. All right. I, I don't feel good about this. I, I just don't think it's even. Yeah. Wow. Oof, this is going to be really tough. Let's try it here. Oh, what the? How is, how is this even possible? Guys, uh, uh, we might have a zero percent here. I might embarrass my crap out of myself. Uh, here we go. Another little test -a Rooney. I can't even I literally can't even stick it on there. All right, we're going to try to scoot back a little bit. Maybe like maybe If I do this one, you've got to like the video. If I do it, you've got to like the video. No take backs. Here we go. Got to like it. You already agreed. Okay. All right, hey. It is what it is. I'm about to lose faith on this one. Oh, is it even possible? Oh, I got the ladder. I didn't land on it, but I got the ladder. Oh, oh, I would say, I would say that's a success. That would not have killed me. I would say that is a success. I hit the ladder, I stood on it, and then I fell the rest of the way. That felt like a success to me. One more. Dang, one for, I'm about to be one for 27. All right, all right, all right, one for 27. This is a very loose score. It could, up, it could be zero, depending on who you ask. This is about a 4% success rate on this one. All right, so y'all have seen Dream do the horse clutch. How hard is it really to do? We're about to find out today. And I wonder, is it easier than the water or the cobweb? Like, that's a great question. Let's find out. All right, guys, uh, horse clutch coming up. We'll see how tough it is to do it. Um, I'm just going to pick one. We'll tie this guy right here. Ooh. All right, so 0 for 1 to start off. That's not a great look here, but let's try number 2. I'm pretty sure you can do it without a saddle, I believe. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm just going to... Oh, boy, I didn't even... I wasn't even near- I wasn't even near a horse and I still didn't get it. You just gotta randomly jump and then hope- You got a, such a tight window on that. I'm starting to get the feeling that this is just all mental. If you believe you do it, you will. So look at this. I'm going down. Full on belief right now that I'll do it and watch. I'm gonna do it. You see that? It's just belief. It's what it comes down to. It's just belief. I, I'm gonna say the next three I'm gonna get and I have 100% confidence. I really feel like there's a big mental component to this. People kind of skim over. Watch this. You see that? I've never done that in my life. If you just believe, like, yo, I'm about to clutch up this horse, like, you just clutch it up. You'd be like, yo, I'm gonna try a different horse this time. You'd be like, yo, it's easy. I'm, it's easy. And you just do it. Ready for this guy's mental? Oh, I'm not out of reach it. Okay, didn't get it there. Ment mentality maybe sometimes works. Mental, mental, mental. I'm gonna miss that one. That's a 37% success rate on the MLG horse. It does the same thing as cobwebs and water. So at this point, you might as well just say, hey, I, I'm just carrying around water bucket. Okay, now my question becomes, is the sweet berry bush the same or harder? So take a look at the sweet berry bush play here. Full on down, you place it on the ground. Beautiful graphics on this dude and you clutch it up. To me, it feels like it's gonna be very similar to the spider web, if not easier. So let's find out right now. All right, 64 sweet berry bushes. We got a full inventory to get tested. Here we go. The first one of the day. Let's see how it feels. Ooh, this is feeling rough. That's it? Okay. I would feel great if I could get my first full-on perfect score here today. That's what we're going for. Perfect score. It's already been ruined on my second try. It's already been ruined. Oh my gosh. Did you see what just happened? Yeah, no, this is legitimately harder than the water in the in the web. I don't know why. It is literally not as easy to do, and I can't explain it. <laughs> the sheep got in my way and I still did it. Oh, I'm fine. Okay, so this one started off absolutely terrible. Four in a row. I got the hang of it, reduced it massively. 70%, 70%. That's not bad. About 5% lower than the others. I'm going to say it's pretty good. All right, let's take a trip to the nether. Oh, this dude's doing the, the fishing hook play, saddle, and then ride it into the lava. I am not looking forward to trying this one. We might have our first, like, maybe 0%er here. Let's find out. It's time for the Strider MLG play. So, um, so guys, this one is incredibly difficult. I'm giving myself a two already. Because I, I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm like a super noob. I can't even get the striders to be pulled up that high. Okay, we got one hooked. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I kind of landed on it, but like, I'm not going to even give myself that one because it just didn't seem to go according to plan. It's another negative two right there. Let's try this guy right here in the corner. 
Oh, that was... Uh, it was not bad. It's not our worst one we've ever done. So, guys, we've been doing this one for a while. I'm giving myself a full-on score of zero. This is a zero percenter. It's very difficult. Even alone to just get the strider up in the air is tough. And there ain't nothing. Nothing that a normal player could do to make this happen unless they get severely lucky. All right, here's one where you got to use the bed to clutch it up. There's a couple ways you can clutch up with a bed. You can drop it or you can actually sleep in it if it's nighttime. Okay, so got to be nighttime for this one. This is the sleep clutch. So, let's see how we do. Oh, it's so weird. You bounce when you fall. You... Wait a minute. Because my server has over 900 players online right now, it's not going to actually let you sleep unless all 900 sleep at once. So I think what's happening is we're clutching it. And then if you were to sleep through the night, it would save your life. But because you can't actually sleep through the night, when we wake up, it's killing us. So it, it, it is successful, but that's kind of weird, man. We'll do it in creative so we don't keep dying. And if we just hit the ground like that, we're going to call that a fail. It seems like this one is like the most frustrating one because it's like, it's not consistent. Like the berry one, you could time. But with this one, it just doesn't feel like you can time it. 33% success rate on the bed clutch MLG. So guys, here's the full spread of what we did today in order from best to worst ratios for an average player like you or me to do. This tells you what you have the best chance of surviving on, which is pretty interesting. Peace.